Hey boys and girls, the junk man here with part three of my monster gaming PC build. It's time to put this bad boy in the case and make her look presentable. We already knows what she does. We ain't going to make no more videos on that. So let's get this beast in the case. You see, I have the CPU cooler mounted, uh, the CPUs mounted, the RAMs mounted, uh, with the exception of the RAM, you got to do it this way. You can't put the motherboard in there and then mount the CPU cooler because there's screws on the bottom of it. You got to get up under the motherboard. So this is the way I'm going to put it in there. I kind of like the way these new uh, motherboards have the... Usually you have to put a plate inside the case. You have to put a, you put a plate back here. And then you have to line the motherboard up into the plate. And sometimes it can be a hassle. Well, this, you don't. You just you just fit it in the square and bam, you're done. So let's get this puppy mounted and we'll take it from there. Here we go. Okay, boys and girls, the motherboard is now mounted. So now you know what a motherboard is for those of you who are watching this and don't know what you're watching. That is the motherboard. There's the back of the motherboard where you plug everything in. So that puppy is all in the computer, ready to go. I want you to take a look at this. You see how high the CPU cooler is? You talk about a tight clearance. As I come down here, man, that puppy's going to be close, but it's going to make it. It's going to be close, but uh, the glass, the glass sits at least this high. It's kind of, it's recessed here, but it's the same level. So it, it looks like it's going to make it. Boy, that's, that's a tight fit. That CPU cooler just barely makes it. So let's add some more stuff. Here we go. Okay, I've got my two 8-pin CPU power plugs connected. And I was able to do that after I put the motherboard in. If I was smart, I would have plugged them in before I mounted the uh, motherboard. But I had enough room to get my fat hands down in there and get them puppies plugged in. So CPU has power connectors now. Let's keep going. All right, boys and girls, check it out. I've got my exhaust fan mounted. And something else, if you paid attention... Uh, remember how the front of that cooler didn't have one of those DS stickers? Now it does. Attention to detail. It's the jaw head in me. That's Marines, you know, that's the way we are. Now, something else I'm going to show you. Um, I've got, let me see here. Get some light there. Yeah. You see my CPU mounting cables. And then you see that little bitty skinny cable uh, that goes to the fan. Notice there's four ways I could have mounted that fan. Four ways. And that wire would have been in four different positions. Notice how I put it closest to that hole that it's going to be going through. Attention to detail. That way I ain't got a whole bunch of wire to hide. Attention to detail. That's when you do that. It's for all you, see, uh, for all you computer builders. Now, I know because these two fans, they're exiting through that hole. That's where their cable is going. That's where I, where I did it. Um, let me see what else. What else? Or oh, actually, this one's going right here through that hole. So now, everything that is going to go through that hole is now done. That Nothing else is going to go through that hole. At this point, I want to start wrapping those cables. See, what a lot of guys do is they build these computers and... The side of the computer that's facing down on the table is where we hide all the wires. But guys who care, who are about something, who know what they're doing, they're going to neatly wrap all the wires on the other side of that, uh, of the, that side of the computer, even though the person who buys the computer from you may never see that side. The only person who's going to see that side may be another computer technician. And when he takes that side off, and sees what it looks like, he's either going to give you his respect, oh, bro knew what he was doing here, or he's going to say, who's the hack you got to build your computer, man? You 
man, this dude's a hack. You know, he's worse than Bubba, shade tree mechanic working on your car, just splicing wires and doing all kinds of crazy crap. So now is the time you start dressing down your wires. You don't wait till you get all the wires in the computer. You start now. It's the same when I cook. I clean as I cook. So that when I'm done cooking, I ain't got that much clean up. It's the same with your computer. You start dressing those wires down as they go in. And then when you finally get all the wires in, cleaning it up is it just is real simple. Watch, because I'm going to show you. Here we go. So check it out, boys and girls. See, I got that wire, or those four wires, coming through that opening. And I've already begun to wrap it down. Tension to detail. Notice I even got those uh, tie wraps evenly spaced. Ain't nobody going to see this, y'all. Ain't nobody going to see this. But if you ever have someone build a computer for you and you don't know anything about that person, about their ability and what they can do, I mean, because they can show you a computer and it'd be all fast and uh, the outside of it looks good. You tell them to take the back side of the computer off. Let them let you see this side. If it looks like a mess of wires that they just shoved up in there, that tells you everything you need to know about them right there. You builders, attention to detail. Because if, if people ask, I mean, you're going to be embarrassed. You're going to take that off. That's embarrassing. I don't see how you could sell a computer with it looking like that. So this, this backside where we had all the wires, that needs to be neat. Take some pride in what you do. All right. Here we go. All right, boys and girls. I have actually gotten some good information from one of my viewers. Uh, his name is JR in the comments section. He explained to me, because he's researched this board, obviously, very well, uh, that plugging the M.2 drive into this slot closest to the CPU would give me a better uh, performance out of it than I would get by installing it in the riser card. So I've removed the riser card and uh, removed the, let me show you what the so that you'll know what it looks like. This is like the heat sink that was covering that section up. And uh, so now that's where I have installed the M.2 drive. And uh, I'm gonna put the heat sink cover back on it. And I wanna thank JR for bringing that to my attention. Good job, man. Here we go. Oh, one more thing about this heat sink that covers the M.2 drive. Now, again, it's the little things. It's the attention to detail that you know when you're dealing with some ballers type stuff. Uh, here are the two screws. Oh, there's one. Let me see here. Yeah. There's one. Here's the other one. Now, those are the screws that hold this heat sink in place. Now, watch this. They don't come out. That way you can't lose them. That's attention to detail. Whoever, does, you know, the crew that designed this board, man, they was thinking this out. Oh, uh, and remember when I was playing with this button, right here. Now, a lot of you guys are going to really relate to this. Let me point to it. Get my finger in there. Yeah, right here. This button right here. Guess what that button does? Because when I first took the board out, I didn't know what it did. If you press this button, what it does is it releases the GPU. Now, watch this. I'm going to raise that up. That is the position it would be in if the GPU was in place. And you know how we used to have to stick a screwdriver down in there to, to release it? I had one guy actually tear his motherboard up trying to get it out because he didn't know that you, you had to release that. Uh, I said, man, you the last person should work on your computer. But what I'm going to do, let me find the button here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press that button. Let me get the shadows out of the way. There you go. Watch what happens. Man, peep that. Peep that. Is that sweet or what, man? Golly. Man, this boy's all that in a bag of chips, man. 
All right, just wanted to show you all that. There we go. Okay, so now the M.2 drive is in place. The heat sink has been replaced. And, you know, I think about it. If someone had brought this to me with a hard drive issue, say, whatever, they lost their data or what, and I would have opened this up, I would have never. I would have had to just done some research just to know that the drive is in there. Because I would have never thought to take those screws out and look up under there. That's uh, that's pretty slick, the way that's hidden. But, okay. Okay, as you can see, I'm working on my wiring as I go. Working on it as I go. Okay, boys and girls, I am still working these cables. Still working them. As I add one, the way I do it is if I add one, like this is a good example. I didn't have all these bundled together at first. And then when I seen that I wanted to add something to it, I added it. And then I cut the old tie wrap off and let the new tie wrap hold it. That way you ain't got to try to hold a bunch of cables together at the same time. Because I've seen guys do that. They get a whole bundle and try to hold them together. And you don't have to do it the way. Tie wraps are cheap. So you can... uh you can wrap a couple of wires up, and then when you see you want to add some more to that that string of wires, you add them and then cut the old tie wrap off. And then, and then that's how you get a bunch of them together. And um, I could get a shorter power cable, a more flexible one. Um, but I've got enough lights and stuff in here because, you know, you can get these in RGB now. Uh, I've got enough lights in here, so I don't want to get too crazy. Uh, so, but I'm going, uh, one thing I do have to put in here, let me see if I can see it laying around. I just saw it. I just saw it and I thought I just picked it up. Well, it's the, uh, hub that all of these, uh, cables go to. And at first I was going to mount it here, but now I've decided to lay it in here. And uh, that's where I'm going to lay it in. Because it's magnetized, so it ain't like it's going to be moving around. So uh, I still can't believe that I can't find it. Oh, wait. There it is. Ugh, getting old. So, like, it's, it's got a... It's magnetized. So, you know, you can put it wherever you want to. I, use, I usually use double-sided tape for that and uh, I use the kind that you can take off it's the same kind I use that to hang my pictures um, and you can take it off and it won't leave a mark on the wall and it's real easy to remove unlike double-sided tape can be so but uh, that's where I'm at I'm still working on her here we go okay boys and girls I changed my mind again and I ended up going with the location of the hub that I thought about going with the first time. So that's where I ended up putting that. I've got all six of my fans plugged in with three spares if I wanted to go. Still got to plug the power in. Then um, of course all my CPU stuff here. And I've decided to put another terabyte hard drive in here to go with the M2. So I'll have I'll end up having two terabytes in this machine. So I'm gonna drop a drive in that bay, get my SATA cable uh, that'll take care of the power to the uh, fan hub and the hard drive, and then get that power supply installed. And then all is left is my GPU. And we'll be ready to fire this bad boy up. See what she does. Here we go. Okay, boys and girls. The GPU is in place. And look at that hunker and massive badass there. Boy, I tell you. That is a, that's a sweet card, man. 
uh, cable management down to a minimum. Uh, I could, like I said, I could get some fancy RGB power plugs, but I, I, that's enough. I got enough going on there. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's spin around here. Oop, get my fingers out the way. Uh, got those cables for the fan all hidden down in there. Uh, so it's a nice looking, as a matter of fact. Well, let me, let me, I got to get these cables for the GPU. I, you know, I hate the fact that they put the connectors on top. They should have put it on the end back here. That would have been better. But oh well. Let me do something with them. I, I might actually buy some different cables for them. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Here we go. Okay, boys and girls. Those are all of the cables that need to be attached. And now I get to put the power supply in and shove all them cables that are left in this crawl space back here. I mean, it's crawl space if you're maybe a rat or something. But, uh, yeah, I pretty much got everything else dressed down. This was the only thing I was worried about rubbing up against the, uh, the outside or the the cover it covers this side of the computer so I got it kind of twisted in some more but everything else should should clear just fine uh, we should be good to go so if uh, for some reason I croak and one day somebody takes the cover off the side of this thing they'll say hey this guy took a little pride in what he was doing nice job all right, let's get that CP or get that power supply in there. Here we go. Okay, boys and girls, we've got the power supply connected. All that good stuff. So now I'm going to shove that all into the little crawl space there, like I said, if you're a mouse. And uh, we're going to fire this bad boy up and see if she works. Uh, one thing that I noticed... I haven't found, at least I don't remember plugging in, a hard drive LED or a case uh, power LED. I don't remember doing that. Because I don't know if this case has it. I'm thinking it does. Because I do see two what looks like lights up there. I guess we're going to see. Uh, but uh, here we go. I'm going to plug this. I'm going to put this power supply in here and we'll see what that looks like. Here we go. Okay, boys and girls, there she is. Power supply is installed. It looks like it's upside down, but it's not. Or maybe it is. But the uh, fan is facing down toward the ground, which is where the case is vented. So that's why I've got it turned that way, because the fan needs to blow down to the ground where the holes are. So uh, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'd be more than happy for somebody to see this side of the case i mean i'm on youtube showing it so i would uh about the only thing i would probably do differently well no it wouldn't matter see there's a uh, they don't put enough like these things these are what you use to tie cables down with and they don't put enough of them on there but there's also these sticky things that you can put that you can take wires through those work nice. The only problem is all the ones I have are white. And I haven't seen any black ones. But, uh, yeah, they don't put enough of these these things on the cases these days. But, I mean, this was a cheap case. I mean, well, it ain't really cheaply made. It was cheap in price. Uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty decently made case. I was impressed for, the, for what I paid. Uh, and I want to say it was... In the $60 range, I think. I can't even remember. I need to look it up. Nah, maybe it was more than that. Maybe it was $80. But uh, it was a very inexpensive case. Uh, and in it, you know, everything fits. Let me uh, 
spin it around here so you can see the inside of it. Lower that puppy down. Uh, yeah, this is the only thing I'm unhappy with. I mean, there's really not much you can do but buy another cable, get a different kind of cable. But uh, it's behind smoked glass, so it ain't like you're going to be able to really see in there real good. About the only thing you're going to be able to see is the is the fans. So, I mean, we're we're nice and neat all through this puppy. Nice and neat. So, let's uh, plug her up, hit the switch, and see what happens. Here we go. Oh, I did want to show this. Um, as you can see, the back is not on. All right. I'm getting my front edge. Let's see here. Let me see how this goes on, if it goes on easy or not. Okay. It's hard to hold the camera and do this at the same time, but I'm going I'm to hold the front edge of this down and give it a pop. And... As you can see, it went on rather easy. Went on rather easy there. No, no bulge. Let me get down here where you can see. There's no bulge in the side. That puppy is on there. So my cable management is on point. Just wanted to show that. Here we go. Okay, boys and girls, we have her together. Got all the peripherals connected. And now we are ready to hit the power button and see if it works. It's always an exciting thing to do. Did we hook up something wrong? You know, but, oh, check out the motherboard. Here, let me cut this other light out. Hold on a second. Uh, reach around here. Ah, there you go. When the computer is off, that's how you know the board has power. So the computer is completely off, but the power supply is turned on. So that's what it does. Uh, and that's, uh, so does my... My Maximus uh, 9 board does that. So does my uh, Hero. I think that's what I got in the other machine. I've got three of the top Asus boards that they've made in this office right now. I don't even need all these computers. Oh, by the way, I sold the X99-A. That puppy went out the door. Sold it. Uh, so, okay. So let's hit the power button. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Where's the power button? Nah, I can't see. Oh, there it is. It's on the left side. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's lit up like a Christmas tree. Check it out, y'all. Yes, sir. Even on top. One beep. You know what one beep means? It passed the post. Power on self-test. When you hear one beep, the next thing you will see is something on the screen. Bam, we are in Windows. Oh, man. We are looking sharp, y'all. We looking sharp. And see, check out the CPU fan. Even though it ain't like the others, I kind of like having that. I mean, I'm, I'm cool with that. I like the way that looks. Uh... I don't know. I don't know why. You Normally, that would drive me crazy. But uh, I'm, I'm feeling that. It's from the same family. It's from the DS line. And uh, by the way, I even found a label to go on the front of that fan. 
So it's got a DS label now. So, but yeah, that's what she's looking like, y'all. Check it out. Uh-huh, Junkman got him a new gaming rig. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's looking sharp. She's looking sharp. I like that black on RGB, boy. That That is just sweet. And now I'm, I'm going to put the glass on here and uh, let you all see what it looks like uh, with the gl smoke glass on it. Because that's going to tune down or tone down some of the brightness of the the uh, RGB light or fans. So let me do that and uh, we'll see what she looks like. Here we go. Whoa, I almost forgot to show y'all this. Y'all know. This machine has built-in Wi-Fi. Check out the two uh, antenna spots there. Built-in Wi-Fi. Comes with a Wi-Fi antenna. Now, I've been bragging about how nice this board is. You know, how they thought of everything. They thought of everything. Uh, but check this out. Not only does it come with an antenna. Is magnetized. <laughs> you don't have to worry about it falling over and stuff. You can stick it anywhere on your metal case. You can't have no cheap case. No cheap plastic case. Got to have a metal case. But one of my boards in my old gaming machine. Where is the box at? Do I got the box sitting around here? I got the box sitting around somewhere. But my office is a wreck. You can't find anything right now. But it came. It comes with an antenna. It's a another ASUS, but the antenna just sits on top of the computer. It ain't magnetized, and uh, so. But that is a nice feature, magnetized. That way, it ain't falling all over real easy. So can't forget to show that little feature, magnetized antenna. That's all right. They did it right, man. They did it right this time. They did it right. All right. The glass is attached, yo. Check it out. She's all glassed in. Now, peep this. Look how close that tower is to the glass. Man, did I measure that perfect or what? Oh, man. There's the front. Got the glass on. By the way, uh, if you get a case with glass like this, uh, first of all, the same stuff I use in the car is the same stuff I use on my computers. If you get one of these kind of cases, because I see guys trying to clean both sides of the glass, here's the way you do it. You take it to a couch or a bed. You clean the inside of the glass. You clean the inside then you mount the glass and then you clean the outside. Don't try to clean both sides and then try to put it on the computer because you're just going to be putting your fingerprints all over it. And you'll get the fingerprints on the inside and then once you get it all cleaned up, you see the fingerprint on the inside, you're like, oh, man. So you clean the inside of the glass. Like use a couch, something you can lay the glass flat in and uh, get it clean and then carefully take it to the computer, put it on, and then clean the outside of the glass. That's the way you do it. This spray weight, man. Uh, Amazon sprayway that stuff works, man. That stuff is good, and you also want cheap microfiber towels the kind of cheap ones. I get these at Dollar General, those things scrub glass, man. They, they all rough, don't whatever you do, don't put them on your paint. But uh, yeah, they, they scrub glass, something beautiful. Check this out, though. Check this out the glass. It opens. It's got hinges, man. It's got hinges. Peep that. Kind of makes it easy to clean, too. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's got hinges. So, that's nice, man. And this case, this case is by B Gears. B is in Bravo Gears. Just like a, a gear on a bicycle. B Gears. It was 100 bucks. I looked it up. I didn't realize it was that much. But, I mean, it's a nice case. Like I said, it don't feel cheap. Uh, it's a nice case for, to be 
I was saying inexpensive, but I mean, that's kind of inexpensive. Let me, uh, okay, let me see if I can get it to stay closed so I can put the standoffs on it. It's got some nice little standoffs here. And then, and then we're going to turn it on and see what it looks like. Where did that fall to? Oh, Y'all, come on. Let's get this standoff up here. My big on hands. There we go. Get that one started. Okay. Then I'll have to. I know I got some smudges up there beside that. Yep, clean those off. And now let me find the other one. Oh man, that is a nice looking case. There it is. Ugh. Look, y'all can see me, I'm half naked. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get this on here and then we'll turn this puppy on and see what it looks like behind the smoke glass. There we go. I have no need to open this thing again. You know, I'm debating, I'm seriously debating on getting another power cord for that GPU. It's because that's the only thing that I ain't real crazy about is the way that looks. And they make RGB, you know, we in the store, in the, the gaming machines that we sell, uh, we that's what we use. We use the uh, the fancy ones. We don't use the stock ones, but uh, it kind of bothers me, and then it kind of don't, cause it's black. You know, it's hard to see in there. So, but here, let's turn it on. See what she looks like. Here we go. Oh, let's cut the lights out. We got to cut the lights out for that. Hold on. Boom. Ah, uh, let's see. Do we want to cut this one out too? Yeah, let's cut this one out too. Boom. Behind the glass. One beep is always good. One beep is always good. Check this out. LEDs are working. I got my power, which is green, and my red, which is hard drive read, right? Of course, it's already booted. Look at that, man. Look at that, y'all. Got it behind the glass. Got it behind the glass. Let me cut this light back on. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, she looking sharp, y'all. She looking sharp. She looking sharp. Got the remote control LEDs. Or LEDs. Uh, fans. Let's play with that for a minute. Let's see if I want to go to, oh, what color I want to make. Let's go all blue fans. Oh, that's green. Let's go blue. Yeah. Now I got to turn the lights out again. Got to see what that looks like. Uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Yeah. Now, see, the RAM is controlled by the motherboard. The, the Aura software, I could, I could turn it blue. The only fan I can't control, really, is the CPU fan. Because it's going to do whatever it wants to do. But uh, the remote allows me to control the other ones. But I, I'm going to just leave it on auto, which allows it to, let me see here, let me find it. It allows it to go through all the patterns that it does. But uh, let's check that internet access speed one more time. Yeah, let's scoop this bad boy over. Oh man, I'm kind of, I'm kind of digging this build, y'all. Out of all the machines I've 
built. It's been quite a while since I built a pretty one for myself. Let me get my fingers out the way. Yeah, got it. See what the internet's doing. I think I got a password. I didn't know I had a password. Y'all got to see what my password is. <laughs> All right, let's go there. Yes, let's check it out. Let's go to... Yep, it already knows where I want to go. Oh, I got, got a couple of pop-ups. Got a couple of pop-ups. Let's get rid of them. Check it out. Get rid of them pop-ups. Block element. This. Block it. Bam, both of them disappeared. All right, let's see what our internet speed is looking like today. Bam, go for it. Oh, yeah, we in the 900s, y'all. We up here in the 900s. That's download. Let's see what upload is going to be looking like. Dang. 928. Upload. We in the 900s, y'all. We in the 900s. Yes, sir. That's how the junk man gets down. Yes, sir. 928, 927. There it is. Y'all saw it live. I think we should call this video a wrap. You saw the junk man's new box. Come out the boxes. Come together. Get tested. Shows its stuff. If you want one, leave a comment. I can put you in touch and build you something just as spectacular. Oh yeah. It won't be cheap. I guarantee you it won't be cheap. Cause uh, my time is valuable. Yes, uh, there she is, there she is. All right, y'all. This is the junk man shining out.